In today's video, a viewer sent me a massive mystery box. What's up guys, we're back with another mystery box opening and I literally have no idea what's inside this thing. I just got a message from a viewer and he said, hey, can I send you a mystery box to open up? And I was like, yes, that would be super fun. I have no idea, it's very large and very heavy. So I have a feeling there might be a lot of product inside. So I'm gonna crack it open. We're gonna take it out one piece at a time. There's actually a piece that came outside the mystery box. So I do know some pretty cool stuff already. Let's see what the rest is. All right, before I actually show you anything, let me just say this is gonna be a fantastic video. I was not expecting this kind of stuff. So first off, I'm gonna show you the Gladiators Assault Special Edition. We are gonna go through one at a time and open these items and keep it interesting because I, I haven't seen everything in there and I wanna stay excited. So we're gonna start off with this glass special edition and get to it. I'm gonna open this very painfully, but this could have, you know, necro face, magic formula, all that crazy stuff. There's also like Dark Crisis packs in here. Yeah, Dark Crisis pack. This is from, by the way, this is was sent to me by Lars. Lars, honestly, I thought he might send a giveaway. He might have one in there, but I'm actually about to do one real quick just to make sure we actually have one. But there's the Vortex Trooper. All right, before we keep going, we have a giveaway for this video. I'll be giving away this first edition of Zero Priest. We have a Destiny Board first edition and an Unlimited Thousands Restrict, original though. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know your favorite item from this mystery box. And let's see what kind of value we can pull out of here. It's gonna be fun. Okay, let's start this thing off with a Dark Crisis pack. Here we go. This is gonna be such a fun, it might be a long video too. So prepare for that. I'm gonna do three from the back. I'm getting the hiccups already. I don't know what's going on. Elma, non-spellcasting area, Ray of Hope. Nintendogs, very nice. We have Dark Scorpion. We have Mephist, and I don't think you can get anything even on these reprint, sort of reprint ones. We have Guardian Chaos. Okay, nothing too insane there. Let's just see what we can get out of Gladiators Assault. I have never really pulled any of the huge, huge cards. I would love to do it for Lars. Let's see, we have Raptinus. Battle Gladius, you have Bestiari. I'm not going to take too, too long in each pack because we do have a lot to open today. Goblin Black Ops. I mean, they're crazy fun packs, though, so I'm going to appreciate them a little bit. I'm not going to go too slow. Glass, here we go. One more chance on this. Okay, we got a ding on the back card there. It was for the upside down card. Is that a good sign? We're going to keep it upside down for good luck. Secutor, Battle Hallbird. We have Sparta, Six Samurai. Double Summon, Reflect Slime. We have the Alien Hypno. Come on, baby, no entry. Will we get something crazy? Oh, it's a super rare. Not crazy, but it is a foil. First foil of the day, in fact. The Cloudian Sheep Cloud. Very nice. Okay, next up, let's stay on theme with another special edition. We have Shadow of Infinity. Oh my goodness, here we go. Special editions are being opened today. I'm pumped, I'm excited. Oh man. All right, that didn't open very well. We have Ryoku. This has been, they had these super nice looking secret rare promos. All right, they used to reprint. I mean, that, that's a game promo. Okay, they used to reprint secrets. I don't know when they switched over to just random Ryoku. Okay. I think usually they're Euro if they're in these little plastic packages. So that might be a Euro special edition, which could be good because I think then you can get ulti, hobby ultis maybe in the packs possibly. Might be a thing. All right, rear Yoku. Let's sleeve that up. That is beautiful. That card looks really sweet. Not as nice as the game promo one. That one's really, really nice, but still pretty cool. Three packs of Shadow of Infinity. Let me know in the comments, what are you expecting from the rest of this mystery box? It's a pretty, pretty good start, huh? Couple GX packs. I mean, it's hard to top that. Old school GX, one, two, Lars. This is such an awesome mystery box. Like, I'm having so much fun right now. I hope we pull you something crazy. That's a Ruxin special. Not a super Ruxin special. There's another one, dang it. Hero Heart Beals. Saber Beetle, we have a full salvo. Magnet Circle. And Proto Cyber Dragon, I would love that as an ulti. That would be cool. I know it's an underrated one. People don't love it as much as the other Cyber Dragons, but it's still pretty cool. It's one of the only Cyber Dragon cards in here. There's like the Cyber Barrier Dragon, Cyber Laser, and then this Proto Cyber. So there's a couple of them. I think I needed to do four. Oh, well. Success Probability Zero, Next to Be Lost, DD Guide, Gear Drill, Generator Shift, Circle. Oh, it's a Roxxon Special, but it's an Ultimate Rare! Princess Karan, and I did do the wrong pack trick. Maybe it worked out like that. Princess Karan, come on, sleep. Is this upside down? Oh, it's upside down, okay. <laughs> Princess Karan, Ultimate Rare. There we go, what an amazing card. That's pretty, that's, that, uh, does this look Euro? This kind of looks, NA to me, it's a little bit flat, which means it's usually NA. Let's see, it looks pretty shiny though. Check that thing out. Woo, that's beautiful. 
What a nice pull, an ultimate rare for Lars. Okay, Shadow of Infinity. Let's do this. One more Shadow of Infinity pack, at least until maybe later, who knows? I don't know, but this is the last one out of this special edition. Can we get two ultis out of one special edition? I mean, are we asking for too much? I'm totally okay with asking for too much. You guys know what I haven't pulled out of here. Any of the Sacred Beasts, ever. Not ulti, not ultra. It's an, ama it's an amazing, you know, math feat that I have not pulled it. I've somehow managed to avoid it. The statistics make no sense of it. Ancient Gear Grill, and here we go. Malfunction, It's that's us trying to pull the Sacred Beast. It's a malfunction. All right, Force of the Breaker. You guys know there's some good stuff in here like Invasion of Chaos. These are the hardest things to open, so I'm gonna do a, do you guys a favor and open this thing, you know, quickly, so you don't have to see it. There's our Winged Rhinos promo. Actually, not too. Oh, never mind. <laughs> not too bent, huh? Yeah, okay, it's pretty bent. It's pretty bent. That's those are just not well made. Those special editions, they're very easy to bend. Let's do the Invasion of Chaos first. Start off with a nice IOC pack from 2007, I believe. So we're talking uh, over 15 years at this point. One, two, three, four, maybe. We have Giant's Hurdle of Illusions, Gora Turtle, sorry. We have the Jade Insect Whistle, Sacred Crane. Curse Seal of the Forbidden Spell, we have DNA Transplant, poor little guy. <laughs> They're just taking him. Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness, known for its fighting prowess. Chaos End. Big Koala, will we pull a Chaos Emperor Dragon? Black Lizard Soldier, Demok, who knows? Let's find out. <laughs> or a DD Scout Plane, all right. That is a foil, a DD Scout Plane. Not a big foil, but it is a foil. We cannot complain when we pull a foil out of an old pack because they're not guaranteed back in the day. Back in my day, we didn't guarantee foils. And speaking of back in my day, Force of the Breaker, okay, this is, before, uh, this is technically after my day. I mean, I, I had quit by the time Force of the Breaker came out, but still very old. I mean, 2007, one, two, three, four. Can we get an ultimate rare? There's some pretty amazing ones in here, like Ryza, the, the do not Doomfire Dragon. Yeah, that, that guy. Yeah, okay, Volcanic Blaster. Tornado, we have the Hard Selling Goblin. Crystal Beast, Emerald Tortoise. Let's just pull it so I can remember. Crystal Beast, or Crystal Beacon, and then there's Crystal Beast. <gasps> oh, a Crystal Beast Topaz Tiger, and this is a huge one. This is a retail ultimate, which I don't, actually, Force of the Breaker doesn't have a retail hobby, but this is a huge, huge ultimate rare even an unlimited this might be like a 100 dollars card or something that is massive it's normally a rare in the set and the ultimate rare that i have never pulled this is one of the best cards in the set that is insane people love their crystal beasts and they definitely have value what a pull oh my goodness two ultimate rares already and this is actually a crazy one okay whoa i was not expecting that ultimate rare force of the break we've already pulled two ultimate rares out of three special editions this is really good blaze accelerator anybody who opens a legendary duelist soul burning volcano no Nobody? Okay. Okay, maybe not. One, two, three, four. Terrible deal. Let's go. And that's Soul Burning Volcano. We have Dwell in the Depths, Otherworld, the A Zone, Recharge, Blaze Accelerator, Mass Hypnosis, Maiku Master Barriers, Crystal Blessing, and Volcanic Shell. That's also an ultimate rare in this set. That would have been pretty cool. Okay, uh, we can't complain though. Topaz Tiger is actually insane. We have more. Force of the Breaker. Force of the Breaker is added again. I'm going to open this thing up. Quickly cut to where we're actually getting to the packs. All right, another winged rhinos. Very cool. I can't believe how well we just pulled. That was, that's amazing. That's such an amazing card. IOC, you know what, IOC, you got your chance right here to pull an amazing card as well. That they're ripping very weird. One, two, three, four. We got a uh, DD scout plane last time. Could we possibly top that? Hard to do, I know. Multiplication advance, Terra King Salomon. Recycle. A hero emerges. Tower of Babel. Fenrir. Crimson Ninja. Pinch Hopper. Oh, a secret rare, Invader of Darkness. The wrong secret rare, but hey, very cool. I, I don't know if these are retail packs out of those blisters. Like normally a blister is retail, but like this is a special edition, so I don't exactly know how this works. It's kind of like a, a it's an EN print, which is probably actually a really rare one. The Invader of Darkness EN, not the new EN, obviously the old print EN. That's probably actually a hard card to find. Okay, pretty cool. I mean, we'll take secret rares, not big value in terms of like what you're going to see on the screen, but an EN collector may actually want that because it would be pretty hard to find. They probably pay a pretty big premium. Uh, Force of the Breaker, here we go. Backs to the wall. A sub reading device, volcanic hammer, terrible deal. Crystal Beast Cobalt Eagle, Gym Flash Eagle, or Energy, not Eagle, not, no Eagles. Wait, what is this? 
some kind of like scuffs on there. Breakthrough. Magnus slash dragon and firewall. Firewall dragon before it's time. One more force of the breaker or is there one more force of the breaker? I'll keep you guys guessing. What an opening so far. What an opening so far. Secret Rare Invader of Darkness. I mean, it's like not a big card. I think it's probably under a dollar or something, but for the EN, I bet it's probably like more like 10, you know. Gym Flash Energy, we have Breakthrough. Magnus Slash, we have Blaze Accelerator. Ooh, a Tri Blaze Accelerator. That's a super weak. Man, two for three on that special edition. These are really killing it right now. Very cool card. Just got a reprint, I think, in Soul Burning Volcano. Not that that was ever a big card anyway in terms of value. And if you haven't had enough, how about one more try at Force of the Breaker and Invasion of Chaos? This is the last one that I can see, so I think this is it. Uh, there's more stuff, a lot more stuff that I can't see. We are, we are legitimately not close to being done with this video, so hopefully you've enjoyed your popcorn. If you haven't, I mean, there's still time to go grab your popcorn. Put the old feet up. Uh, this is painful. To, these are just painful. There's the playset of Phantom Rock. Wait, no, wait. Phantom Rock Lizard. Oh, that might be like a Euro difference. Oh, that's a Phantom Rock Lizard instead of the instead of the Wing Rhino. So yeah, th I bet one of these was a Euro. This might be Euro. This looks more Euro. Maybe it is. I can't tell. Maybe we'll be able to tell when we open it up. This might not be EN actually. No, it still is. Okay. IOC EN. One, two, three, four. Here we go. We have Chaos Greed. Usually on the EN sense, you could pull both. I think you could pull both secret rares. You have the thing in the crater. Energy Drain, we have Neil Bug, Salvage, Sylveed, Fiend's Hand Mirror, and we have the Ultra Evolution Pill. Dinosaurs are at it again. Force of the Breaker, this could be Euro, I think, possibly. Or maybe this is US, the other was Euro. But the, those ultis looked more like, or that ulti looked more like US, so I'm not totally sure. We'll find out, maybe, I don't know. We have Volcanic Recharge, we have Crystal Beast Ruby Carbuncle, My Cow Master Bears, Crystal Blessing, Heart Cell and Zombie, Gravity Crush Dragon, and we have a Sky Scourge in Rise. We are, we're not going to go a Special Edition without pulling something. That's great. We're going to get at least a foil. One more pack. Maybe we'll get an Ultimate Rare in this one. Ultimate Rare, one, two, three, four, I believe. We have the Crystal Raigeki, Secrets of the Gallant, Volcanic Blaster, Tornado, Last Resort, Papa Roach. Crystal Beast Amber Mammoth, we have Abundance, we have the Goblin, and we have Harpy Queen. That's a big ultimate rare. We have pulled that one before, though. This is insane. There are so many packs left. Look at this. Look at this. This is insane. Look at this. I literally could make like six videos out of this, and I'm still thinking, like, should I stop the video right now? Because... This has already been this, like, should I open these and then do more videos, like, at a different time? There's so many good packs here. All right, guys, I think I've decided, I think we're going to do a part two on this because this is going to end up being, like, an hour-long video, and we could do a really awesome second video out of this. So I think we're just going to open the ones you see. I'm not going to spoil what's in the rest of this. So if you're excited about the rest of the mystery box, make sure to subscribe. I mean, you're going to get, like, a 30-plus minute video here. So I don't want you guys to get, you know, too bored. It's to be too long. So look forward to that. Let me know in the comments if you want to see it. I think you probably do. This is insane. Lars, you're killing it, man. Uh, there's also Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh! chance right there. I'm sure you guys saw. Duelist pack. Let's go. This is just too crazy. I mean, this is just too much for one video. It's just too good. I mean, it's just too amazing. We have the Chithonian Blast. Arm Dragon level 3. Magical Mallet. Super. That's really cool. Why Dragon Head? So Magical Mallet, a foil. Uh, I have seen this card many times, but I didn't really realize where it came from. So it comes from Duelist pack. All right, let's try a Jaden Yuki pack as well. Man, this is, I was not expecting this, honestly. I was not expecting these packs, and I'm pumped. Like, this is so much fun. Opening all this old school is great. Transcendent Wings. We have Elemental Hero Bubble Man. Featherwind, that's just a rare. I think that means that we didn't get anything. It's Spark Blaster and Spark Man, okay. Let's try a little Elemental Energy. How about that? Elemental Energy just casually in here? How about that? EEN, just insanity, continues. Okay, one, two, three, four. Uh, ultimate rares out of here obviously are insane. So if we can get anything, I mean, EEN has a lot of good ones, even in the uh, retail department, which I would expect these to be retail, but I actually don't know. Catapult, we have Wild Hearts. And Broad, Mad King of Dark World. That's a pretty cool ulti. We have pulled that ulti before. It's not very expensive, but it is very cool. You know what is expensive? Any version of the Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card, which we did pull the other day. Go check it out if you guys didn't see it. We did pull it, but that was just the ultra rare. Ultimate rare, anybody? We've never pulled the unlimited ultra either. Any unlimited at all. It was a first ed uh, ultra rare that we pulled recently. We have Legendary Ebon Steed, Zanji, Yariza, Umbral Soul. We have Shin's Castle of Mist. 
Sage of Stillness, we have Neospatian Globe Moths. These definitely look European or something. They look darker. We have Raging Earth and we have DD Crow. That's an ulti in here. If we pull DD Crow, I will lose it. Chaz Princeton, we have pulled DD Crow in Starlight form once before, a long, long time ago. If you guys remember being in that live stream, you are one of very few probably that are still around. That was like, there's only 300 ish people in there. It was like three years ago. We have X Head Cannon. There's an XYZ Dragon Cannon. Okay, not too crazy. By the way, I forgot to mention this Lars guy that I've been talking about. He sent me a picture where, which by the way, now that I'm thinking about it, this could have been in the mystery box. So, I've, you know, that would have been insane. But he opened two of the Duelist Genesis packs and pulled a Ghost Shirt Stardust. First dead, by the way. So, this man's insane. Clay Charge. Uh, maybe after he pulled that, he was like, you know what? I think Ruxin can open the rest of these. I, my, I've had my luck. Maybe he'll have better luck than me. Clay Charge, because, I mean, it's hard to really continue that kind of luck. I mean, a Ghost Shirt Stardust out of two packs, first edition. I mean, who even has first edition Duelist Genesis anymore? I mean, hardly anyone. So he is a, he's a maniac. And uh, he also, like, sold me, a, his, I guess, his old copy of Stardust. It was like mod play, because, you know, he has a new minty replacement. Pretty insane, dude. Pretty insane. I've never pulled that card. I just hope to one day be able to pull it. It probably will never happen. Uniform Nomenclature, V-Tiger Jet. I barely ever open that set because it's so expensive. We have Loss, Reborn Zombie, Axie Get On, Scar Scout of Dark World, Scar Scout of Dark World back to back. That's really weird. And Jack's Knight. So far, whiffing on these, these GX packs right here. We want to do a little better. Strike Neos, look how much different they look. Yeah, they, uh, yeah, this is the right choice to make this a part one because this is going to be over a 30 minute video without the part two. Flashbang. Ebon Steed, Marion and Might. I know you guys like the longer videos, but once it gets to like an hour, like the watch time kind of stops at 15 minutes. You know, it doesn't matter how long it is. Come on, we have Puppet Plant, Twister. That's it, just a Twister. So I feel like people, you know, I start losing people when it's like 45 minutes to an hour. Even though I do enjoy doing those long ones every once in a while because I used to really love those super long videos back when I was a huge, like, you know, Yu Gi Oh card opening fan. Like, that's kind of how I got into it, was just watching a ton of those openings and another magical mallet very cool so i know that that's the stuff i used to like and that's kind of how i run my channel is like when i was at like watching only Yu-Gi-Oh stuff like i obviously don't just watch Yu-Gi-Oh card openings now but back in the day that was all i did it was just Yu-Gi-Oh card openings so i remember what i preferred and what i liked so i kind of try to follow off that like what did i want to see simply unlucky to upload you know that's kind of how i try to do it um draining shield we have the avian bubble blaster we're getting all the good stuff bubble blaster we're getting the clay charge all the cool elemental hero little equip spells that are definitely terrible in the game, but very nostalgic. E.E.N., hey. You wanna pull something good? Anybody? E.E.N., elemental energy? Could be a fun time. Bonding H2O right there at the front. Ultimate rare, let's go. Gateway to Dark World. I mean, do I even dare mention the Shining Flare Wingman? I just did, we have Loss, Bonding H2O. We have Win, Non-Fusion Area, Scar Scout of Dark World, and another Jax Knight. A lot of Jacks Knights so far. Uh, we do have some extra EEN, so I'm gonna open one right here. Seem to have more than the Strike and Neos. Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card, you know. Very forbidden, very difficult to find. Let's get something crazy. Dark World Lightning, simultaneous loss. We have Chithonian Polymer. All right, we have the Weed Out, Infernal Incinerator, Oja Magic, Dark Deal, and a BES Tetra. And I was like, is this an ulti? No, it's not. Just a super, but hey, a super is better than the rares we've been getting. So BES Tetran getting some love. Chaz, these are ones I don't open very often because like there's not a ton to pull in these. So when I do get to open them, it's kind of cool because I, I don't know a ton about them. Let's see if we can get the, whatever the big card. I think it's it might be uh, Arm Dragon level 10. It's one of the Chaz packs that it's in. We have Oja Magic. Used to be like a $70 card, but then it got the like four reprints in a row. So I don't think it's too expensive now, but it's still the original one. Duelist pack, Jaden Yuki. Let's go. Come on, Jaden. Will you bless us with something cool? We have strategy card. We have Rottweiler. Transcendent Wings. Clay Charge again. We're getting a lot of the same ones. Two Clay Charge. Couple Bubble Blaster. Where is there a Spark? I thought it was Spark Blaster. No, there is a Spark Blaster. It's right here. Just a common. Okay, Elemental Energy. Not every day you get to open this many GX packs. He's definitely a GX fan based on the pack selection so far. It's been basically all GX, which I totally respect. Definitely some great selection in uh, GX back then. Boss Rush. We have uh, Blade Skater, Polymer, Beige, Vanguard of Dark World, Scar Scout of Dark World. We have Weed. We have the... <laughs> we have Weed, okay. <laughs> we have Non-Fusion Area and... I thought that was a Jax Knight again. It's a Queen's Knight, okay. I take that an ulti. I wouldn't be mad. Let's go back to Chaz Prince. Let's try to even these out. We have Strategy Card. We have Ojama Green, Z-Metal Tank, 
The Grave of Enkindling, super rare, and Winged Catapult with the Arm Dragon level 5. Grave of Enkindling, we have not pulled that. I don't know much about that card at all. I think I've seen it before, but it's a ring and a slight bells, but I don't know much about it. Can we get something crazy? Elemental Hero, or Elemental Hero Flame Wingman, I think is a rare in here. We have Bubble Man. Bubble Blaster, there it is. Bubble Blaster again, another blast of the bubbles. Good stuff, Elemental Energy. Can you give us something crazy come on man come on en a pack that we rarely get to open it's will cyber the lightning simultaneous loss we need the where's the weed at incinerator we have oja magic dark deal w wing catapults and a queen's knight what is up with all these knights still a bunch of extra but we're, we're gonna do a strike neos anyway here we go Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card is what we're searching for. DD Crow ulti though. Something I've also not pulled. There's a little damage on the back of that corner. One, two, three, four. We have Silent Abyss, Raging Earth, Turn of the Six Samurai, Alien Psychic, Yariza. We have Reflector Ray. We have Zanji, Kaki Gorilla of the Dark World, and the Hero Metal. All right, Chaz, the Chaz. Come on, Chaz, give us something good. Give us something epic. Give us that level 10, which may or may not even be in here. Because there's so many duelists packed like Chaz and you, like Yuki. I can't keep up with like which one has which. Oh, John McGreen. I think it's number one, so it should be in here, right? I think it's in the first one. Don't really remember. Jaden Yuki. Because I, as I've said, I've not opened these very often. Come on, Jaden Yuki. Open up. Open up in there. Oh, dear. We have the Wing Karibo. Rottweiler. Draining Shield. Clay Charge. How many Supers are in here? Two? I think we pulled them four different times uh clay charge the same cards over and over speaking of same cards over and over we keep pulling the same rares out of here so let's see if we can turn it around one two three four this opening started insane let's see if we can continue it here simultaneous loss we have dark world lightning it's whale cyber branch non-fusion area level modulation oxy get on familiar possess area and jethonian alliance for the jazz Okay, we're down to two of those, so I'm gonna do, we still have five more elemental energy, so let's see what we can get, Lars. By the way, don't forget to shout out Lars in the in the comments, guys. And if you guys are still watching at this point in the video, use use my secret code, Stinky P, and uh, Lars's favorite Stinky P. Ojama Magic. <laughs> We have the weed out. Oh, there it is. The weed out and the hero barrier. All right. Okay. Yeah, that, that code was a little weird. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. But that's the secret co code. You know, Stinky P has been a secret code for many, many months at this point. The force of darkness. If you made it all the way in this long video, I want to know. We have the cyber again. Branch. Gateway to dark world. Roll out. Forces of darkness. We have familiar possessed win. Oja muscle. Infernal incinerator and King's Knight. We have the place that we have all of them. We have King's Knight, Queen's Knight, and Jack's Knight, and others, multiple others. Let's do a strike pack. Strike of the Forbidden Yu Gi Oh card. Will we pull him twice in like almost a week, basically? Here we go. We pulled a super. It was not the Forbidden Yu Gi Oh card. Somehow I messed that up. We have the Glow Moss. I somehow messed up the pack trick there. Gene Warped Warwolf. Okay, that's a super. Also comes an ulti in this set. Okay, ruined that one a little bit. All right, uh, let's keep going. Chaz, we have pulled a couple of different supers out of here. Let's see if we can get something better. I think there's only one rare on the, or not rare, one ultra rare in these dual, old duelist packs like Chaz and Yuki and all this stuff. I keep saying Yuki, Jane Yuki. We have, oh, 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 the Arm Dragon level 10. Our Ruxin and specialed it. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Arm Dragon level 10 has been pulled. This is the only ultra in the set. So that is pretty amazing. Okay, that's sick. Now, Jaden, it's your turn to pull the only ultra, which could be Card Trooper, I think is one of them. Hmm, I can't remember exactly what it is. Uh, could be Card Trooper trying to think of what the other ones were i don't remember let's see if we can just pull it wait maybe it's on here um uh too much work too much work fusion sage you guys can pause it and figure it out oh a flame wingman it's not a rare it's a super in here elemental hero flame wingman the super rare version that is amazing all right these duelist packs are turning out to be awesome that's a really cool looking card okay there's just there's still three more e in this is crazy all right so far they have not really given us much maybe like one super not very good we have v tiger jet feather wind come on also let's get some 2006 pack it's very old win non-fusion area we have scar another scar nope it's not reborn and 
Oh my gosh, you can't make this up. Another Jax Knight. This is insane. All right, let's go back. Let's do these last duelist packs, which um, we just pulled a level 10, which is pretty amazing. Let's go. Come on. Arm Dragon. We have Ojama King. We have Mizzy Metal Tank. And another Grave of Enkindling. A lot of foils pulled out of these duelist packs. I don't know what the ratios are, but we are pulling a ton of them. Last Jaden Yuki pack. I mean, we are getting towards the end of the video only because I'm making this a two-parter. Only because of that. Otherwise, it would it would never end at this point. I mean, it would be the longest video on my channel, probably. Elemental Hero Bersinatrix, probably not, actually. Hero Signal, we have Burst Return. We haven't pulled that yet. Burst Return, that is for the Burst Bersinatrix. Very nice. I don't think we pulled anything for the Spark Man, though. It's all the Clay Man and the aqua bubble guy four packs left in the video don't forget to thank lars let him know he's a legend this has been an insane opening it's been fun we've pulled a lot of good stuff too which is also makes it better we have the cyber we have the hita league of uniform nomenclature nano breaker area weed out we have bonding reborn zombie and arm changer at least it wasn't a freaking knight okay I will say that. Strike of Neos. A lot of great cards in here, okay? Strike of Neos. A lot of good cards we could pull. Just saying that. One, two, three, four. Let's go. Six Samurai Zanji. Reflector Ray. Cyclone. Gorilla Dark World. We have Return of the Six Samurai. Silent Abyss. Tutulane the Awakened. We have Six Samurai Iru. And the Euro Metal. All right. It's really... These have kind of slowed down in terms of the craziness. These these two sets right here specifically. That's GX for you, right? Elemental Energy. Last Chance of this video. Who knows? I mean, no one large, there's probably 15 more of these in there, but uh, last chance right now. Let's see what we can get. One, two, three, four. Can we get something crazy to end it off? Zero Nine of Dark World, we have Rollout. Let's go. Hydra Get On, Featherwind, Infernal Incinerator, Oja Magic, Dark Deal, W Wing Catapult, and a Rapid Fire Magician. That's fine. You know why? We didn't pull anything there. We are saving it all for the Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card, which I have pulled once, but still never an ultimate rare. I'm just throwing that out there. Let's go. Last pack magic. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more epic content. Shout out Lars in the comments. Let's get him something crazy to end it here. And don't forget, part two is going to be coming out. There will be a lot more where this came from. All right. Lycanthrope. Shian's Foot Soldier. Ritual Ceiling. That's a Ruxin special. Grin Tactician of Dark World. We have Radiance. Return of the Six Samurai. Puppet plan, and here we go. A Neos Force. Okay, ended a little bit of a slow streak there, but this was still an incredible opening, and there will be more. Shout out to Tonefo Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, CJ, and then a Tai Show, Ian Moosey Jr., Barding, Robert F., and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.